oxytocin also works in the brain as a neurotransmitter and neuromodulator. And what does it do there? It appears to play a very central role in forming attachments, a very central role in forming of pair bonds. And it, along with dopamine and the D2 receptors, are critical for female voles of monogamous species to form pair bonds. Female humans, when having sex, secrete lots of oxytocin and activate oxytocin pathways in the brain, and it appears to play a role in the formation of attachment. Interestingly, how's this? A whole body of research now showing that if you introduce oxytocin into the brains of humans experimentally, they become more trusting. Amazing body of research where you take aerosolized oxytocin and you spritz it up people's noses. And what they showed in the studies were, number one, one type of study. You then play a clip of somebody making an argument for some stance in some debate, and people believe the person more. They find their argument more convincing. They trust the person more. Or the other version that's been shown is you spritz oxytocin up the noses of people, and you make them more cooperative in their game theory play, the ways in which they go about playing Prisoner's Dilemma and other games we will hear about later on as well. This has given rise to a whole new field, I kid you not, called neuromarketing. The notion that if only you could spritz oxytocin up the noses of people right before your television ad comes on, they're going to believe you when you say it will make you happy to buy our thing and they will fall for it. There are actually neuroendocrinologists making a living now selling their wares to neuromarketing people, you know, self-proclaimed ones. No doubt they are spritzing oxytocin up the noses of those, you know, capitalists to get them to hire them to do this, but oxytocin playing a role in this. So that's kind of interesting, because what's oxytocin mostly doing in the body? The vast majority of oxytocin is not the stuff up in the brain in these pathways, some of them impinging on dopamine releasing neurons. The vast majority is not the oxytocin sitting there in the hypothalamus doing something or other to ACTH in the pituitary. The vast majority is the stuff coming out of the posterior pituitary. And what does oxytocin have to do there? It has to do with milk letdown. It has to do with nursing. And suddenly, instead, it's playing a role in forming sexual pair bonding. And the argument is made that attachment, monogamous attachment, sexual attachment, is in some way evolutionarily a descendant of the neurobiology of mother-offspring attachment, that that's where it is originally being driven by. So oxytocin playing a role there as well.